very important. That's a different species. Oh, oh. That's a different genus from the Pennsylvania mm -hmm. This is brand new. This is going to make a huge splash. I realized right then that this was something exceptionally uh, amazing. It's pretty spectacular. So, yeah. This is a very old animal. Jugum postorbital coossified here. You know, we're worshiping a, a new angle on sexual dimorphism in Pachycephalus over here. Uh -huh. It's best to get a, a new species. This is the most important pachycephalosaurid skull found since the Troodon validus in 1922. That is extraordinary. No one's going to believe this. This is, a typical this is just amazing. No one would have believed me had I said I saw a pachycephalosaurid from the lands with wide open temporal fenestra. It doesn't happen ever. So whether it's a separate species or whether it's a, a female morph, okay. either way it's important. This is the part that is making everybody so excited. Yeah, these fenestra right here are usually very small or gone. And most pachycephalosaurs and this is a big dome right there and this is no real indication of a large dome and these huge fenestra. And absolutely no dome. That's unreal. Pretty amazing. How long can you be shaking and get to work oh, on this, such neat stuff? This is, it's oh, almost yeah, to the point right now where you can see all of the features necessary to define new species, new genus, new subfamily. I mean, this is like the first European who saw a kangaroo. Holy moly. My goodness. It's a new genus. No question. Absolutely no question. Um, Dang, that's amazing. People will not believe this. Yeah. No. People simply will not like believe this. And this is big news. This is big, big news. This is totally unexpected, really. It's just...